So you had asked me to do a lesson on uh, the different positions of holding chords on the guitar. And the different positions of holding chords on the guitar is what we call the caged system of uh, playing chords on the guitar. And caged, caged is simply the C, A, G, E, and D. C, A, G, and, uh, C, A, G, E, and D are the most basic uh, major open chords on the guitar. They, they are open chords and they are very easy to play. These are actually the beginner chords on the guitar. So for the C, this is how a C chord, uh, this is how we hold the C major chord. And uh, I have my ring finger on the third fret of the A string, and then my middle finger is on second fret of the D string, and my index finger is on first fret of the B string. So when I play, when I strum these chords, I have the C major chord. And then for the A major chord, this is how we hold the A major chord, and this is simply just uh, the the middle finger is on second fret of the D string, the ring finger is on second fret of the G string, and the little finger is on second fret of the B string. That is the A major chord, and then the G. This is how we hold the G major chord. The G. Uh, I have the ring finger is on third fret of the of the low E string, and then the middle finger is on second fret of the A string, and the little finger is on third fret of the high E string. This is the G major chord, and then the E major chord. Now for the E major chord, I have uh, this is the the first fret of the the first fret of the G string using my index finger, and then my middle finger is on second fret of the A string, and my ring finger is on second fret of the D string. This is the E major chord, and then lastly we have the D major chord. For the D major chord, I have my index on second fret. Uh, second fret G string. My little finger, sorry, my my my, my middle finger is on uh, second fret of the high E string, and my ring finger is on third fret of the B string. This is my D major chord, and of course for the C, I'll start strumming from the fifth string, and for the A, the same. I'll start strumming from the fifth string. For the G, I'll start strumming from the 6th. Same for the E. And then for the D, I'll start strumming from the D string itself. String number 4. Okay. So, when I hold a C major chord this way, this is the shape of the C major chord. But there are some instances I'll be required to play, for instance, when I'm playing uh, a lead line to a song, I'll be required to play the same C major chord, but maybe in a higher fret, okay? So, the way that I can do this uh, is now where the caged system comes in. Now, when I play the C major chord, this is the bass basic shape of the C major chord, but I can still play it using the shape of the A major chord, okay? Now this A major chord, when I move it a fret higher, it becomes A sharp chord. When I move it higher, it becomes uh, the B chord. And when I move it again a fret higher, it becomes a C chord. So this is actually a C major chord, but I'm holding it using the shape of the of the A, okay? And this is where the cage system applies. I'm playing a C major chord, but using the shape of the A major chord, okay? So this is A, A sharp, B, C. Okay, so actually when I play the C, You can hear that uh, it's it's just the same uh, chord, but usually when uh, we are play we are using these chords maybe in seven, uh, we we can't afford to hold it uh, this way, so we use just one finger. 
So I'm just using my ring finger to bar all the three strings, okay? And that is uh, the C major chord. Now we usually hold it, uh, when we hold it as a bar chord, this is how. This is the full chord. This is just a shortcut, okay? But this is the full chord. So the index finger is barring all uh, all the strings, or maybe string number one to string number five, and then uh, so this is the C major chord. Now the same C major chord we can hold it using the shape of the. Now we've looked at using the shape of the A. The next is the shape of the G. Now. This is the G major chord, okay? When I move it a fret higher, it becomes the G sharp. But now I have to bar, we do not want open strings. So I'm just using my index finger to bar uh, the first fret, okay? The open strings, in short. So this is the G sharp major chord. And when I move it a fret higher again, uh, becomes the A major chord and when I move it a fret higher becomes A sharp and then B and then C so this is C you can hear the sound is the same only a higher pitch so I can decide also to hold the C, uh, the C major chord this way using the shape of the G major chord but uh, this chord is a bit too stretchy it's not really it's not commonly used you won't find a lot of people using this chord it's uh, a bit too stretchy okay and then for uh, for improvisation you need to have some fingers free uh, to do some some other movements okay that's why uh, for the even for this shape here, we are just using one finger so that the other fingers can be free to move. Okay, and then uh, the next shape is the shape of the E. So this is the E. So I'll just be quick uh, with this one. Okay, so if I move it a fret height, it becomes the F, but I have to bar the, the open strings. So this is our F. And then, so I've just changed the fingering from this, okay? It, initially we were holding it this way, but for the purposes of, uh, of uh, playing it, uh, for, the pas uh, for the purposes of me showing you how to play it now, I, I, I'm just changing the fingering a bit. So this is F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. So this is another way that we can play the C major chord. Now we have looked at how to hold the C and then hold it with the shape of the A of the G and now this is another shape of the E. Okay. So there are multiple ways that you can hold the same chord. You can hold the C major chord this way or this way. Okay. Or uh, this way. Okay, for this way. Okay, and uh, for this case, uh, sometimes people prefer to use the shortcut. Okay, instead of uh, playing all these strings on uh, this is the eighth fret, I can decide just to play uh, string number one and number two. But the rest of the fingers remain the same. Okay, that is the shape of the E. And then lastly, we have the shape of the D. Now I can decide to pl to play. Uh, the the C major chord this way. This is so my index finger is on uh, my index finger is on this is the tenth fret tenth fret of the D string, okay, tenth fret of the D string, and then my my middle finger is on. 12th fret of the of the of the G string and then this note here my ring finger is on 
12th fret of the high E string and then my little finger is on the 13th fret of the B string. This is another way that we can play the C major chord. So we can play the C major chord this way or this way, okay, or this way, or this way, or this way. So those are five different positions of holding the C major chord. The same for the A major chord. This is the A major chord. I can play it using the shape of the C major chord, okay? Now, this is the C major chord. If I move it up to... Uh, I've just altered the fingering, okay? This is basically how we were holding the C major chord, okay? But I've just altered the fingering. So the index finger is is barring uh, string number one, two, and three on the on the ninth fret, and then my middle finger is on the tenth fret of the B string, and then my ring finger is on eleventh fret of the D string, and my little finger is on. Uh, is on the A note. This is the actually the A note. This is the twelfth fret of the A string. This is uh, another way of playing the A major chord, but we usually play it as a shortcut. We omit this note, so we just have this. Okay. And you can also play it as uh, as the G. Okay. Uh, we had looked at this, okay? So I'm using the G shape to play an A major chord and then we can also play it as the D, okay? Right here. It's actually almost similar to the, to the shape of the C, okay? That's simply the, the, the caged system. And uh, the, way that it the way that it helps is that uh, you don't really have to make a lot of movements when you're playing improvisation or you're playing a lead line. Uh, maybe uh, I can decide to play a 1-4-5-4 four, four progression in the key of A major. So I can decide to come and use this shape of the C okay, to play an A major chord. The song maybe is in the key of A major. Okay, I can play. This is the shape of the C, okay? But I'm using it as a shortcut. I'm omitting this note. And then the next chord, the D, I'm playing it using the shape of the E major chord. Remember? Remember this shape? The shape of the E major chord. This shape right here. I'm moving it up to this fret. And then uh, the same to the E. I can play the... Uh, so this is just the E, okay? And back to the D. But I'm playing it as a shortcut, okay? I, I can also omit this note right here. And so I just have this. Okay. Just so that I can avoid the movement of playing uh, maybe a chord here. Or maybe I play the A major using the E shape here. And then I come all the way here to play the D. And then I play the E back to the D. So I'm just trying to minimize the movement. And 
that's all for the cage system okay maybe for this uh, we've not looked at the e okay so the e i can play it this way or i can play it using the shape of the c okay now when i play it using the shape of the c i'll have it here this note is the e so this is the shape of the c major chord then I can also play it uh, using the shape of the A okay now when I play it using the shape of the A I'll have the chord right here all these when I play it using uh, the shape of the G I'll have to come all the way to this point when I play it using the shape of uh, the D I'll maybe I'll have to play it at this point. Okay. So the 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 trick is just to move the chord uh higher in semitones. Okay. So this is the D. Okay, we are looking at uh okay, the D this is the D. So this is when I move it a fret high is D sharp E. Okay. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, okay. And that is the trick. Yeah, the, the, there's not much to it. So if you have any other question, please let me know. Or if you need, uh, I've just rushed this lesson. So if you need further clarification, please feel free to tell me and I'll make another lesson for you. Thank you.